Okay, so we're going to go over the forever um, block in detail. So as I mentioned, the forever block, once you start a forever block, um, it will run the code inside of it. And then once it gets to the bottom, you see how it has this little arrow? It says go back to the top and run it again. So it'll just keep on looping and running this over and over and over again. And you notice that there's no way to attach a block here down at the bottom. So if I tried to, to take a block out and attach it, there's nowhere to attach it in the bottom. And that's because you can never get to this point because the, it'll just keep on sticking in the forever loop and no blocks below it will ever get executed. Now I also said that this refreshes, like the screen over here, uh, refreshes once, I mean 30 frames per second. So every second it will redraw itself 30 times. So if you take a calculator and you do the math, you do 1 divided by 30, you're going to get 0 0.03 repeating. So that's, that's the amount of time that it takes for the screen. So now just to show that the forever loop basically runs off this, this, uh, this 30 frames per second, I set up this. You don't, don't worry about the code blocks in here. Basically what it does, it just calculates the time that it takes for each loop. So whenever I click this forever block, it's going to start executing. So I click it, and you see my tick is 0 0.03, and basically repeating. It's a little little fluctuating because it depends on your computer and uh, maybe how many blocks and stuff you got in there. Who knows? But it's basically once like 30 frames per second. So this updates 30 times per second. So that's pretty fast. And um, yeah, so I think that's it for the forever loop. It just basically keeps on executing everything inside of it forever and it does it at 30 frames per second.